e-learning. Basics of e-fuse ICs. What is the semiconductor fuse e-fuse IC? Reusable fuse IC made of semiconductor. The e-fuse IC has a high performance, high precision protection function built into one package, which is not found in conventional fuses. It can be used repeatedly, reducing maintenance costs and recovery time for repairs. This is the product lineup list. We plan to expand our lineup of products with a wide range of input voltage and packages in the future. Return operation auto retry, automatically e fuse IC recovers after TSD, thermal shutdown. Return operation latched, after TSD, e fuse IC recovers by setting the control signal to high again. Advantages of semiconductor fuse e fuse IC 1. Conventional glass tube fuses and chip fuses have a structure that stops the current by melting the internal metal with heat when an overcurrent occurs and then breaking the wire. Therefore, it will be broken at one time, and parts replacement, etc. must be carried out in order to operate it again. On the other hand, e-fuse IC shown on the right can be used repeatedly because the current is detected with high accuracy by the internal overcurrent circuitry to stop the internal MOSFET from being turned off. Advantages of Semiconductor Fuse E-Fuse IC 2. Compared with conventional fuses, E-Fuse IC has the advantage of superior protective performance. Comparing with repeatedly usable conventional fuses, such as polyfuses, E-Fuse IC has the advantage of excellent accuracy of overcurrent protection and high protection speed. In addition, it has built-in protection functions such as overvoltage and reverse current blocking RCB, function. The E-Fuse IC itself is larger than the chip fuse, but E-Fuse IC becomes overwhelmingly small in the total mounting area including the protective functions of peripheral ICs and components, such as overvoltage and slew rate control. Although a cost of an e-fuse IC is higher than a conventional fuse, considering the total cost, such as integrating protective functions and eliminating maintenance work, we believe that e-fuse IC will be low. Advantages of Semiconductor Fuse e-fuse IC 3. Simplify to acquire IEC 62368-1 certification with e-fuse IC. New product safety standards develop based on the concepts of hazard-based safety engineering HBSE, that prevent injury to humans IEC 62368-1. By using the E-Fuse IC that has acquired the safety standard, it may be possible to reduce the work of acquiring certification as a set. Comparison of E-Fuse IC performance with conventional fuses. The figure above shows the result of comparing the short circuit protection performance between the E-Fuse IC and the conventional fuse, polyfuse, chip fuse. We were checking how long the output current turned off when the output is short circuited to ground. For comparison, the overcurrent settings of the E-Fuse IC, polyfuses, and chip fuse ratings were unified around 3 ampere. As a result, the off time of the E-Fuse IC on the left side was about 2 microseconds while that of the polyfuse in the middle figure was about 3 seconds, and that of the chip fuse in the right figure was about 7 microseconds. The peak current was also suppressed to about 35 ampere by the E-fuse IC. On the other hand, conventional fuses did not fit in the measurement range, and a large current of 70 ampere or more flowed. Only the E-fuse IC cuts off the current path at high speed and does not allow a large current to flow. Examples of applications where semiconductor fuses, E-fuse ICs, are used. There are a wide variety of applications in which semiconductor fuses, E-fuse ICs, are used. This applies to devices with many inputs and outputs, such as laptop computers and headsets. E-fuse ICs can be used for a lot of applications that require functions such as short circuit protection, overcurrent protection, overvoltage protection, slew rate control, reverse current blocking, RCB, and thermal shutdown, TSD. Examples of applications where semiconductor fuses, E-fuse ICs, are used. From load switch and MOSFET to E-fuse to comply with USB terminal standards switching is proceeding. It is important to use it in combination with the SD, etc. Overcurrent Protection Function OCP. The overcurrent protection function prevents damage to the IC and load by suppressing power consumption in the event of an error. If the output current exceeds the limit current I limit, due to a load error or short circuit, the output voltage and output current also decrease, thereby limiting the power consumed by the ICs and the load. 
This overcurrent protection has the advantage of being adjustable with an external resistor. The resistor surrounded by a red frame in the circuit diagram shown at left is an external resistor RI limit. This external resistor, the overcurrent limit can be set to 0.5 ampere tilde 5 ampere for TCK8 series. This overcurrent limit and external resistor RI limit are shown in the diagram at right in the equation below it. As shown in this graph, the overcurrent limit is determined according to the resistance value. It has the advantage of improving design flexibility because the overcurrent limit can be set arbitrarily simply by changing one external resistor. Be sure to check the resistance value with the actual machine when selecting the resistance value. Overcurrent Protection Function OCP. Even if you think that polyfuses and chip fuses can protect the circuits, there is a possibility that the circuits cannot actually be protected. This diagram compares the overcurrent protection operation among between the E-fuse IC and polyfuse and chip fuse. For comparative purposes, E-fuse IC overcurrent setting, polyfuse, and chip fuse ratings are unified around 3 ampere. When the overcurrent of 5 ampere was applied, E-fuse IC turned off the current in the output voltage in only 1 microseconds dash 2 microseconds. The polyfuse and chip fuse could not turn off the current even if the overcurrent of 5 ampere was applied, and the output voltage also remained on. When an overcurrent of 10 ampere was applied, E-fuse IC turned off at only 1 microseconds and 2 microseconds as in the case of 5 ampere. The polyfuse turned off 2.6 seconds, the chip fuse did 3.5 microseconds, however, the chip fuse was broken and needed to replace it. Short Circuit Protection Function The short circuit protection function prevents excessive current from flowing by stopping operation when the power supply line or load is short-circuited due to some kind of abnormality. In TCK800 and 805 and 812 series, if the output current is 1.6 times the current limit, I limit, for a very short period of time, the output is judged to be short-circuited and this function operates. Toshiba E-Fuse IC uses a short circuit protection circuit, fast trip function, that operates at high speed. The above figure shows the operating waveform of the simulated fast trip function. The simulation results show that the current is suppressed to near 0 150 nanoseconds after the short circuit occurs. In the actual circuit, the operating waveform may differ due to the influence of parasitic resistance and capacitance such as wiring. Because of the faster off time, damage and destruction of the subsequent IC can be reduced. Overvoltage Protection Function Overvoltage Clamp For TCK8 series, when the input voltage of the V and pin of the E-fuse IC exceeds the overvoltage clamp value OVC, the output voltage V out is limited to the overvoltage clamp value OVC, so that the overvoltage is not applied to the subsequent IC or circuits. There are two types of overvoltage protection functions, a type that clamps the output voltage, a type that shuts off the output voltage. Please check the data sheet for details as it depends on the product. Slew Rate Control, Suppressing Rush Current When the output is turned on, an inrush current flows to charge the capacitor connected to the load side. If this current is too large, the overcurrent protection circuit may malfunction, making it impossible to start up, or overshooting may occur in the output voltage. To prevent this, this function limits the inrush current and controls the slew rate at the rise of the output voltage. The slew rate control function can control the rise of the output voltage with an external capacitor. The inside of the red frame in the left figure is the external capacitor CDVDT. By changing this value, the rising slew rate of the output voltage can be adjusted. The capacitance of the external capacitor CDVDT and the rise time TDVDT of the output voltage can be expressed by the formula on the upper right. The graph on the right shows the above relationship. From this graph, the horizontal axis shows that the larger the capacitance, the slower the rising TDVDT of the output voltage on the vertical axis. The rush current can also be reduced by slowly rising this output voltage. In the configuration with discrete parts, it was necessary to change various constants such as gate voltage, current adjustment, gate capacitance value, etc. To change the slew rate, but with the E-fuse IC, the slew rate can be adjusted with a single small capacitor. Slew Rate Control, Suppressing Rush Current The figure below is an example of rush current suppression using slew rate control. 
The waveform on the left is the rising waveform of the output voltage and current with DVDT terminal open, and the waveform on the right is the waveform when one nanofarad is added to DVDT terminal. The slew rate can be adjusted by adjusting the CDVDT terminal capacitance.